Yeah, so VHL disease at this point in time does not have an FDA approved therapy. Uh, it's a uh, hereditary disorder that uh, affects the eyes, the uh, brain, the spine, the uh, pancreas, the adrenal glands, and the kidneys. And uh, these individuals who have this, and there's about 10,000 in the United States, basically face a lifetime of surveillance with scans and surgical interventions or other types of interventions. So having something that can actually shrink these without undergoing surgery would be a huge boost. So the hope here is that this agent uh, be approved uh, and that uh, in individuals who do have lesions that are starting to get to a size where it looks like they might need to have uh, some type of intervention, mm -hmm. that they could, um, they could get this drug instead of a surgical intervention and that they could uh, be on this for some period of time and that would uh, either delay or, or prevent the need for that particular surgical intervention. Okay. The sort of long-term dream scenario would be that, you know, this is a, a disease of adolescents, young adults. Um, the, the first manifestations can occur in, in, in childhood, but are most commonly in adolescent, young adulthood, that we could come up with a prevention strategy where in, individuals would receive this drug and then prevent the development of organ manifestations. And that would obviously require a follow-up study asking a, a different question, but that could really help us uh, help this patient population more. So from a patient perspective, uh, it, it's been an incredible joy seeing how uh, this drug really has helped the lives of, of individuals living with VHL and, and being, being personally um, um, involved in, in seeing how this has really provided them with that positive benefit. And, and as a person who's been working with individuals with VHL disease now for, for 20 years, uh, it, it just makes me incredibly happy to see that we, we finally have something that, that can help these people.